Yo, what is up guys? I'm DT, and sorry for the way that these few weeks have been really hectic lately because of last minute tests and quizzes. But I'm finally back with a review of the Rad Power 13,400 milliamp hour battery. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Okay, the Rad Power 13,400 milliamp hour battery comes in this box with this the rap power logo and the circle with the phone messaging location mail games music Wi-Fi iPod and a player button with with the battery symbol in the center there is the with the like my uh with the like logo power or power your life and in the back is a QR code and I was saying that how much it is and uh, the uh, SEC logo and the model numbers now the box slides out just like this like the Beats by Dre boxes and like the Beats by Dre boxes it opens right up like this Now in the box, there's a hello safety manual, and there's a carrying case with two cables, one shorter, one longer, and that's basically what you get in the box. Now let's talk about the. Uh, now let's move aside all of this, and let's talk about the battery. Now on the battery, there's this matte finish, which I really like because it deters fingerprints a lot, and it's very nice. And and uh, there's the uh, Rap Power logo embossed in white all across the top. Now in the left, on the right side, there's a micro USB for for power and charging. In the back, there's absolutely nothing. In the in the back side, there is a rounded edge for symmetry, so for it's for it to be symmetrical. Now over here, there the SVC logo, the Element series to let us know what collection it is in, the model number, the capacity, and the input and output. Now talking about functionality, there are two ports, 2.4 amps and 2.1 amps. The 2.1 amp is to charge your phone, the 2.4 amp is to charge your tablets. Now the 2.4 amps is very helpful because when you want to charge your phone or tablet and, and your charger doesn't have that much capacity, like 1 amp or 1.5 amps, then you can easily put your charger into this and it could boost your phone or ba or tablet's power up to two up to four times more and the 2.1 amps is good because like if you're in a hurry and you need to, and you need to charge your phone and you're and you're tired of using that same old apple charger that has only like one amp and this is very very helpful and, the, and the, as you can see there are two outputs the two outputs are very helpful just in case that, that you have a friend or you have two devices that need charging and they're about to die and and you can easily plug them into both outputs and yeah, they, they could start charging from there. Now, going on to what I do like about this charger. Now, my review is mostly what I do like about this charger because I have nothing but good things to talk about this. Now, good thing is this charger is small, is small and light. Now, you need this 
Now we need this to be small and light because you need it to be easily accessible and you need to be able to put it in your pocket or backpack without any worry or hassle. Now also, also I like that there's two two designated driver, two designated like inputs for tablet and smartphones. I also like that there's two also like that you can put any any charger cable into both of them. So it doesn't matter whether you you have a lightning cable or a micro USB cable, that they have the same connector so so you could easily like put your cable in there. I also like that you can charge up to two devices at the same time. You can't do that with a normal Apple charger. I also like also like that is a matte finish because my my hands are mostly are mostly dirty. As you can see, my hands are sweaty, and and you can see my sweat stains and sweat marks right there. But if it, but if it was a glossy finish, my hand my fingerprints would be all over it. And I really don't like it. I like my items to be really, really clean all the time. Now, what I don't like about this charger is that, well, it's really thick. Now, on the other hand, you do need to be really thick because, like, because, um, because in order to fit the huge battery in there and to put in, and to put in, the and to put in there you go and to put in their two cables in there without any worry so so there is a reason for it to be really thick but but I believe our power would maybe be like a little thinner because when I'm walking around with this in my back pocket and my phone in my front pocket and the cable sticking out like a lanyard like there's a huge huge bulge in my back pocket people think people might think like strange things I don't want to get into that but you know like I just don't like it be really thick well I forgot I also forgot to say in the functionality, there's a tiny power button right there. Right there. And if you press it, it gives you four LED charges. Now, as you can see, I have three left. So I need, so I don't need to charge this. So I don't need to charge this yet, but but three charges will go a lot. As I said, this is thirteen thousand four hundred, so I don't really need it, need to charge this yet. Now also, if you hold the power button, it turns it off. Now what I don't like about the power button is that it is so flush with the rest of the power bank that it will. That at night, sometimes I get I get really sleep. I use my phone at night, and sometimes I will forget to charge it because the power button is so is so small that I forget to turn it off. And in the morning, I'm left with uh, one bar or no bars, right? Or no bars, so I can't charge my phone at all in the morning because like, I have to go to school. Now, my, my final verdict on the Rab Howard 13,400 milliamp hour battery is pretty positive. It, ha it combines sleek, it combines a sleek, big battery into a size that's not that big, at, that's not that bigger than the iPhone 6 or 6s or iPhone 5 by 5s.
Now, it, it does have its advantage. It does have its cons, but I believe those the pros far outweigh the cons. Now, should you buy it? Yes. Now, this now this battery only cost thirty dollars. Now, for thirteen thousand four hundred, I believe this is a steal because most of these batteries. Now well, that capacity costs like fifty to seventy dollars, but yeah, on Amazon you can get this for much cheaper. But I got this on a hobby sale, so it was twenty dollars. I believe I got a really really good deal for not that big of a price. Now this is JC signing off. I I already told you my break and. Uh, and whether you should or should not buy the project. Now, to recap, yes, you should. You totally should. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And as always, peace out.